everyone, Jaws Jr. here. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on now. And just been busy all summer, so I've been able to do what I wanted to do and put out some um, videos for you guys. But what this one here is, is a getting us ready to go on yet another pretty cool adventure that's coming up here real soon. So what we've been doing is getting the travel trailer ready. i got to do something with the Tahoe to get that ready. And things like that. But let me show you what I did with the, with the travel trailer. Here on the front, we changed out this front piece and put in that diamond plate aluminum. Yes, I know the lights were still going to do. I had to glue these on. I had to glue that on. And then we're going to turn around and glue these lights on, which work. This originally had one on each side. But I decided to go ahead and put one on, put them on both sides. I also painted the tongue, made that look a lot nicer. And what was on it was that. Just a second here. Sorry about that, had a car drive by. So that's what. Uh, we replaced what happened on this is that this piece here popped out which caused that fiberglass piece to not want to stay in so I ended up taking that fiberglass piece out it was cracked and I went ahead and re-secured this to the trailer with the help of the Mrs. Jaws Jr., we were able to get this put back in place here. And I was able to put some glue up in here to help secure it. And then put everything back together. So today, go ahead and re-glue these back on. And these here, these frames here should still Oh yeah, they're secure. Look at how it's moving. That's some good glue. So we'll get those lights put back on there today. Get them re-glued. It's 24 hour glue, so it takes 24 hours for it to set, to set up. And then uh, we'll finish getting the front of this thing ready. Propane tanks are full. Got to do some cleaning get it ready to go. So that's today's part of today's project. The other part is this. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. I mean it's something simple but hey I've never had anything like what I'm going to put on it before and it's going to help us out carrying the stuff that we need for this week's adventure or this next week's adventure that we're going on. Because in all honesty a Tahoe to me is too small, it's too short, I can't put enough stuff inside of it. Uh, we used to have a Suburban, which I liked a lot, but the motor went bad in it, and we decided to just go ahead and junk that and get this one. So that's what we're going to do, is make it so I can pack some long stuff, and keep it secure and out of the rain. So, I'll be with you guys here real soon to show you what I'm going to try to do. Well, here's the box. This is what I'm going to put on that. Hmm. Some of you might figure it out already. We'll see. So, we'll give you an update here in a minute. Well, there's the result. Got the rack put on top. And that's going to hold shovels, picks, sledgehammers, pry bars, come along jack, and that's about all the weight it can handle. But that's all I need. Because again, the back of this is not long enough to lay this stuff down without jabbing somebody in the back of the head in the back seat. So that's the plan. And of course, it's raining. Kind of irritates me. But, I'll get into that in a minute. Let's go ahead and 
get the vents closed. I think this is luck. Of course, you have to live in a society where you have everything locked. Isn't that right? Because you can't trust anybody. So, get these here closed. These here closed. Okay, yep. Our trailer is getting ready to go. We'll be with you in a minute. Okay, everybody. I hope you can see me good enough. I've got one light on in here. I can turn on another one on, but hey, maybe I might be sparing your eyes. Uh, talk to you a little bit about some of the original intent of this channel. What was going to be. It was going to be to build document the building of my shop which was supposed to happen this year 2016 but I have gone through five contractors on giving me bids and either their price is too high, such as, for example, $45,000 for a shell over a concrete pad with no electrical and no doors. I was going to take care of the electrical and doors myself. I ran that guy off. Had another one. Almost as bad for a pole style. Post and beam type building. Almost the same price. I ran him off. I had another guy, didn't even bother to show up on time. I told him, hey, 9 a.m., be out here. He didn't show up until 2 a.m., I mean, until 2 p.m. that day. I flat out chewed his butt, told him, if you can't show up just to give me a quote on time, I don't want you ever on my property. Get the heck out of here. And I'm sorry, I've got a set of standards I, I, I live by. My kind of work I do, I have deadlines. I have to meet those deadlines. I stress if I'm not going to be on time with with what I do for work. Uh, I've always been the type of person to be on be on time and I expect others working for me or doing something associated with me to be on time as well. I don't wait. Sorry, I just don't wait. That's just how I am. Then um, I got some other people that just didn't even bother returning to turn a bid. So it's fine. I've got a local contractor right now and I've got to get them one piece of information, give them a call. I've just got to print it out and maybe go from there. He, he would like to do it. He understands that I have ran off enough contractors. Him and I have always has butted heads before, but I think that's good because we know where each other's limits are at. But he wants to do it because he doesn't want to be traveling out of town next year to be uh, working. He'd like to do everything in town. So, hey, I think that might work out good. So i got to get him going. But this has been a very frustrating summer for me because it was intended to have this shop be built and be put up by now. Granted, it may not have electrical in it right at this point in time, but it was supposed to have been put up. The issue with putting on this roof carrier, and it started raining, really got to me. Because I should be under a cover. But I'm not. Sorry. I hope you could hear me through all that because I had my finger over the part of the microphone, so maybe now it'll be better. So, you know, we'll see. Our property here has been in limbo now for too many years because we can't do much. We can't do one project without another. And right now, the biggest project is getting the shop built. And. I'm hoping that next year we can start doing some groundbreaking and I can show you guys all the stuff that's going along because that was original intent of this channel. Now, yes, the rock hounding has been fun and I'm going to continue doing that. But that's why it's called the Adventures of Jaws Jr. is because rock hounding is an adventure. Deal building a shop is going to be an adventure. All the different things that I do is going to be an adventure. Uh, I haven't traveled as much with for work long distance as I was expecting to, so I haven't been able to show different places that I've gone and things that I've seen 
Every, all my work's been local, which is Oregon and Washington. To me, that's local. I've only been out of state twice this summer, and that's for quick day trips, and I don't have time to want to pull out a camera and do anything on day trips because I'm leaving at three in the three thirty in the morning and I get home at eleven at night. So it's those long days like that. So this channel hasn't gone the direction I've wanted it to yet, but it will in time. And granted, I don't have very many subscribers, which is fine because that way there I'm not disappointing very many people by not putting up new content right now. Uh, but we're going to be working on that. Everybody's going to be working on that associated with it. Uh, the Mrs. Josh Jr. is going to be helping me out. She's going to be operating the cameras and stuff like that. You'll never see her face on the screen, although as beautiful as she is, she does not want to be on uh, camera. She had a fit with me when we were at the Clackamas River rock hounding, and her voice was on it. So I've got to even be careful with that. But I've got all kinds of plans for this channel, of things that I'm going to be doing, and, and other stuff like that. So so for now, that's a quick update. Uh, we're getting ready to go here within the week to go on a pretty fun adventure to do um, some rock hounding. Places to see. There's a couple places I've never been to before. I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. This is also a work trip, too. And the first stop in the first night is going to be associated with work. Uh, can't show you much of that. Well, probably won't show you anything about that. But when I'm not working, we'll be showing it to you. We'll be bringing Simon to Pug along. You'll be seeing him. And we'll see what all we can find. Uh, I'm going to show you some pretty specific information because these are places that we will never be going again. Or we won't go for a long time. And I might as well share where the locations were at for some of them. Some of them I will not share. Sorry. So there you go. Um, that's it for now. This is another quick Adventures of Jaws Jr., which wasn't so very adventurous, but hey, we got something done. I've uh, got the carrier put on. I've got to find a piece of carpet to put in there, put the tools in there, uh, finish cleaning up the trailer, get it packed with our food and clothes, and we're going to be down the road here real soon. So until next time, everybody, see ya!